Hi, I am back with a new video. DOS has asked a question to integrate Tailwind with Grapes.js. If you do not know about Tailwind so please continue, if you do so then skip to the next chapter. Tailwind is a utility first CSS framework. It provides many classes related to different styling like text, background color, border, etc. To integrate Tailwind, we don't need to create blocks and components because it does not provide any components like card, button, modal, form, etc. It only gives us classes that can be used. So we only need to add these classes to all existing grapes.js blocks and components. To do so, we only need to create a custom trait. So let's get started. Creating a custom trait is not easy, as blocks and components are. But it is very important to do it. To create a trait, we need to implement three methods, create input, on update, on event. Create input will create, how we want to get the value in the trait. On update is useful, when the user refreshes the page, then auto populates the trait value. On event is to handle, what the user is doing. Let's start both our application. I am just going to add some clean encode. If we want to add style or script in our grapes.js editor, then we need to add canvas in the setting. Canvas contains styles for CSS and scripts for JS. So let add Tailwind CSS CDN in styles. I didn't find any way to use local styles or JS so we have to use CDN. Let create a plugins folder for all of our plugins. In the plugins folder, create a folder for Tailwind. Import grapes from the library. Write a code to create a plugin. Give it a name. It receives two parameter editor and ops. Editor is instance of our editor. Ops is used to receive property from the editor. Create options to store our settings. Combine both configs. Now import and add this plugin in our grapes.js configuration. We are going to add our custom trade in all components. So create two files, components.js and trades.js. Create DOM components and trade manager instances respectively. Let add this components 
and traits in our Tailwind plugin. So now let works on our trait. It is little difficult. We need to override three methods so let do them one by one. First method is create input. In this we have two, create and selector two, select all the tailwind classes. Get all options, which we will give to our trait, from components. In starting, it doesn't make sense. But it will be clear very soon. Now iterate over all of the options, and add them inside our selector, we just created. Add text and value, from options and assigned it to our option element. Extract all class list from the target view. Also check condition, to add selected or not selected inside option. Finally add option in our select. Now, we overwrite our second method on update. This is almost similar to create input. But little different. In create input. We ask user to choose classes. In on update, we auto populate selected class by user. Now ITT time, to override third method, on event. It is important one. It will reflect the, changes in our component, whatever we do changes in our trait. Like when we choose, or change classes, it must be added, or removed, to our existing, component classes.
Now it's time for our components. We can get all types by using DOM components dot get types. Then we will iterate over all the components and add our custom trait to existing one. I am going to add some property only to text or link component, light color, font weight etc. But you can add it to all. You just need to remove if condition. Inside model, defaults, traits, we first add default traits, then we will add our trait, and give the options. Options means, classes from Tailwind. So for demo purpose, I am going to copy some classes and save it to a array in separate file named tailwind underscore classes i am going to copy text color classes from tailwind now iterate over this array and create an option for our trait Class underscore select. Similarly, I am just going to copy all the classes which I copied and add in our tailwind underscore classes file. Iterate over all the array, use it in our trait. Remember, one thing if you are not using, if condition then, please check default traits first before adding it. Because not all the existing components have traits. I already added that code in repo. You can play around with it. You can add as much as class as you want. Let's see a quick demo. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.